We are back at it again. The Ratchery is at an all-time high and we are here to look at it all. Today we're going to be talking about domestic discipline, which I didn't even know was a thing, only in like every bad sense of the word, um, which is kind of what this is. But, you know, this woman forced her mom to do this domestic discipline on her and then called it a lifestyle. So this is a thing now. So we're just going to watch what this is all about. Cute intro. Hi, here we go. We have been practicing domestic discipline for roughly 10 years. Yeah, so this is for roughly 10 years. 10 years. Okay, so this is this is his thing that he uses every now and again. And it says, what daddy says goes, exclamation mark, with hearts around it. Hmm. Yes. a lot of the woman is brainwashed. I love everything. She gets a lot of the woman is brainwashed. She also gets a lot of the woman has is in a butte relationship, you know, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, she, I guess she just thinks all these people are haters. I guess she just thinks, hey, everybody should mind their own business because she thinks this is, this is a great yeah. lifestyle. He's very, very loving. Like he's sensitive and caring. And adult. How? How is he sensitive? And caring, but only it gets worse. It gets worse. Watch, wait till you find out whose idea this was. The title kind of gives it away, but this is just crazy. So she's talking about this DD, which is domestic discipline, and what it's all about. It's when two consenting adults, uh -huh. where you have a dominant and a submissive. Dominant sets rules and expectations for the submissive to live by, and there are consequences for not following the rules or not meeting those expectations. Following up on consequences. And they have them on the wall. Yes, they have all these rules on the wall. Mind you, they don't live on their own. Oh, no. They've got three kids and a dog. May the force be with you. It's terrible. It's actually terrible. Um, Yeah, so they have this on the walls for any visitors as well or whoever, whoever to see. And let's take under. a closer look at four days. It could be from Spain. Four days. Disrespect. Life will be so much easier if you learn to control your tongue. A bad attitude will always lead to a punishment. Imagine seeing that on the wall of your own house. You're a homegrown woman. You've buried three kids. You got a dog. And then this is uh, staring at you every time you walk by. So you have to dust them off as well every day or whatever you guys' uh, agreement is. Writing lines. What's this? Disobedience, yeah. There is no point in being disobedient. You will not get your way. You will be punished. Okay. Corner time, or just a, a stern lecture. Y'all suck. This man, this grown man, will give her a lecture. Uh, in fact, <laughs> and she says it's not fun. And then he's like, I bet. <laughs> Now she's writing some lines. And he's gonna say what those lines say. And he doesn't even get it right. That being submissive is important. It was being submissive is very important. It's a unique quality to have. I will be submissive at all times to my HOH. And HOH? HOH, what is that you may ask? HOH is head of household. So he got her writing these lines. He himself doesn't even know what this whole what the lines even are she knows it because she had to write 10 pages she had to write a4 paper lines 10 of them and I, my thing is this they have three kids right everywhere from the ages of mm, look like around seven ish to about 13 i think the oldest is i'm um, very well spoken girl by the way don't they have homework don't you have to help them with homework Parents are allowed to live their life, sure. They're allowed to have their hobbies, sure. But this is just some extra thing besides living your actual life and having hobbies that you need to do and think about. This is crazy. You got this grown woman sitting up here. I don't even think they do this in schools anymore. Which school is out here saying, you, your punishment for whatever you did, you're going to be writing lines. What school is doing this? There is no school doing this. It's outdated. It doesn't work. Why are we doing this with grown people? I need to know. I really need to know. I'm curious. 
You have time. What a waste of time. Wow. And it's I a shame. And I write 10 pages worth. 10 pages. I don't find writing lines as demeaning. It's not fun. She doesn't find it as demeaning, which means that there's some aspects of this that she probably does find demeaning. Because she's saying, I don't find writing this demeaning, but I'm sure there's some aspects when he has to wapow you with that thing that said what daddy says goes, that must be extremely demeaning. Bet she wrote on it too. I bet she picked out which one. You know what makes, what irks me about this? I was going to say a little bit, but it's a lot of it. What irks me about this is that there's people in an actual abuse relationship and they don't know how to get out and they wish that they could slowly eliminate some of the things that's being done to them. And you're like, no, let's incorporate this. Let's add this demeaning thing. Let's reverse how far we've come and just, just add a lot of useless things as punishment for me when I don't act right. Daddy issues. That's all I'm going to say. Daddy issues. There is no way. There is no way anybody would be okay with this. There's something going on. There's something not right. There's something not right. If it were right, everybody would be doing it. If there was something to benefit from this, everybody would be doing it. This is crazy. To me, it's crazy to me. Hmm. Um, shocker. It was her idea. This whole thing was her idea. Okay. Yeah. I kept getting a book recommendation for a book called Your Spouse Avoid Divorce. A lot of it surprising. Your Spouse devoid, uh, Avoid Divorce. This is what this book is called. She kept getting recommendations. Where on earth was she getting these recommendations from? Who was recommending this to her? Who? No, I need to know. Who was recommending her to go get this book or whatever? Who? Who was doing that? Where was it popping off? Was she already researching this type of thing and it just came up? Does she have friends? If it was a recommendation from a friend, trust me, baby girl, that is not a friend. That is somebody who is probably in this lifestyle and it's like, you know what? I'm going to convince all my other friends that this is the best way to live and this is the best way to not go into a divorce. Because this sounds like the craziest thing I ever heard. This is the, this is the craziest things. This is the craziest thing I've ever heard. This is madness. We're just doing crazy things now and calling it a lifestyle. Is that what we're doing? That's what we're doing. Um, that's not a friend. Please, no. Uh, Cancelled. Nope. Are you made sense? I thought I was hurting my wife. Awkward. He thought he was hurting his wife. He was concerned because she came up with this idea and she started introducing all these little things, or big things actually, that he should be doing to her or let her do. And he thought he might be hurting her with the those parts. And what else did he say? Let's rewind that back. Essential. I don't think people. Hey, when it does that. Hold on a minute. A lot of it surprisingly made sense. I thought I was hurting my wife. Awkward. And it was awkward. And it is awkward. These people are saying things it's in the present tense. It's awkward. But they're doing it. Consensual. I don't think people can. So. They're asking them whether they think this is an abuse relationship. And they're saying that no, because it's consensual. And it, if it's abuse, it cannot be consensual. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I beg to differ. If we bring back that brainwashing part from the beginning, that some people were saying that they thought that she'd been, woo, scrambled up in there. Um, yeah, if you bring that into it, uh, definitely, you could be okay with this. You could be okay with this because somehow you have convinced yourself. We're not even going to blame the guy. This is definitely her doing this. You have convinced yourself that this is a good thing to do. You've convinced yourself that this is the pathway you need to be on and it will prevent divorce. You have convinced yourself of this. Now, how does a normal functioning, normal person with all their moral code and everything intact with no trauma and this and that agree to something like this? I'm telling you, if it were normal, the whole world would be doing it. This is not normal. But now what we've done is we call things that are not normal a lifestyle. Sent to be in a um two was my idea. Domestic Don't know why. Discipline and BDSM are different Explain because that. in BDSM there's an enjoyment factor. Either you enjoy getting spent or you enjoy somebody. I don't enjoy being spent. He doesn't Hold up. Hold up a minute. This woman oh here we go. This woman literally just said that she does not enjoy. What? What did she say? She doesn't enjoy any of this. 
why do you bring up this lifestyle and you don't even enjoy it? Your guy thinks it's awkward. He's worried he might be hurting you. But y'all continue. And you've got three kids watching all this. And the dog. He be, he be watching too. Watching all this, wondering, hmm, what are my parents doing? Is this normal? And in fact, I'll tell you a little thing. They got a 13-year-old, very well-spoken daughter to speak on this whole thing, this lifestyle. And she was like, yeah, mm, she doesn't think she's going to do this later on because it doesn't suit the type of person that she is, which is normal. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm concerned. You see, the thing is sometimes people come with these things and they say, oh, it's a lifestyle, this and that. And they seem to be genuinely enjoying it. Sometimes it's for a check, for fame, for clout. Okay. We know all these things for followers, whatever. Um, like the girl who pretends to be a dog. Hmm. And that's a whole other thing. But yeah, they'll call that a lifestyle too. They pretend to actually really, really like it, really, really enjoy it. This is where I'm meant to be in life. This is who I'm supposed to be. But these people have given every indication that they themselves do not like the thing that they're doing. So my thing is, why are they doing it? With the kids watching, the dog watching, everybody watching, and it's just awkward. They themselves have said it's awkward. The guy said it was awkward. So I don't know, man. We're doing it. Started the Ah, let's rewind that back. Who we? Mm -mm. Getting spent or you enjoy somebody. I don't enjoy being spent. He doesn't enjoy doing it. She doesn't enjoy. He also doesn't enjoy. They said it from their own mouths. I, I, I'm not making stuff up here. They said it themselves. Started the Facebook group before. Oh dear, they've started a Facebook group, y'all. It has reached the interwebs, and they have a community. I'm a friends who's also in the lifestyle this sure i'm sure she told you about this book get or get divorced i'm sure she's the one who brought that up yeah she's also in the community okay so what is this facebook group for it was a safe space talk uh -huh. people can vent 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 about what what are you guys venting about this is the thing I don't understand because you're in this lifestyle that is preventing you from getting divorced. You're having a good old funky time. Or are you? It's making your marriage go in the right direction. Or are you? Huh? So now they have a whole group, a whole support group, a whole community to talk. Okay. Share experiences. Oh, maybe, maybe do this. Maybe, maybe let him uh, let you do some uh, uh, jumping jacks for uh, an hour as a punishment. Oh, that's a good idea, girl. I'm going to tell my man to impose this punishment upon me so that I can be domestic and domicile and respectful. Maybe they talk about these things. But she said to vent. So people are not happy. And they come on this Facebook group to talk about how they're not happy. Hmm without worrying about husband seeing it so they go on there they're they're anonymous and everything practicing. hey they're anonymous and everything and they do all this so that the husbands don't see it they don't want their husbands to see them on these groups so that also makes me wonder how many times this is actually not the woman's idea but it's the man's idea and they're imposing that on their wife listen this is scary as heck. This is scary. I've been seeing a lot of these type of videos, you guys. People are up to some weird stuff, some freaky stuff, some disturbing stuff. This is everything and more all wrapped in a parcel, in a package of doom. This is terrible. The fact that they don't like it, why are they doing it? Wasting time. Oh, girl. What you been up to? Girl, nothing. I just wrote 10 pages of you shall be submissive. You shall listen to your HOH. You shall do domestic day. If you're in this lifestyle, all your friends better be in the same lifestyle too because ain't nobody want to be around that. That's just weird. And they'll come to your house looking at your husband like he's got four heads. Like, what is up with you? Even though she's the one who wants it. They'll be looking at her crazy too. <sighs> I have no words. In any case, <laughs> if you have any thoughts or any words, leave them down in the, in the um, chat thingy with below. I know. 
my mind scrambled from this in any case if you're not already part of the family make sure you hit bum stomp as on that subscribe button comment because i really want to know you think like because you always like this video and hit the notification bell while you it i'll see you in the next video which will be tomorrow ish um <laughs> daily ish videos up in here in the meantime make time for glorious life it's time to start what living it right living it without domestic domicile whatever is your situation please please do normal things please please you have heard it from these people it is not enjoyable okay it is not enjoyable they've all said that so it is what it is but um like jocelyn toller would say maybe they should stay together so that you know they stay away from all the rest of us so uh may god bless your union um wisen up and stop wasting time and uh, be a good role model to those kids because they're watching and they probably think you're super weird in any case um that'll be all peace bye subscribe do all that and i'll see you next